Well, what we saw in the air was, and uh, on the ground, was we saw a tremendous amount of cooperation. Everybody's working very hard. They're channeling all that anxiety into protecting their property. Uh, they're it's ensuring that they're, they're helping out their neighbors. Uh, the military is working very closely with the local volunteers and the local officials and provincial officials. So we've seen a lot of uh, properties that have been protected. The water is being released slowly, as you folks know, from this morning. And it's gone about a mile to the uh, south uh, east of us and uh, they put a cut in the road to move it away from some of the homes in the area so so far it's been a, a gone as predicted it's been a controlled release uh, that has not done any damage to anybody's homes at this stage of the game premier describe what you're seeing up there though in detail for our listeners what i'm seeing is, is a slow release of water onto uh, farming fields in the area uh, i've seen a tremendous amount of sandbagging and aqua dams put around homes so uh, most of the properties are well protected in the early stages of the release of the water and overall uh, I, what, I th what I've seen is more cooperation, and that's one of the things we've established this morning uh, with the uh, Reeve, uh, Reeve Blight, and uh, Candace Hefner, the Member of Parliament. Everybody's uh, seized of how they can be as helpful as possible to the people in the area, who are the ones experiencing the most stress and uh, have the biggest challenge ahead of them. But it's going very well in terms of everybody's ability to respond and put resources in place to protect their uh, their homes and their properties. How much damage is going to flow? We're not, we're not seeing any damage other than the water being on the fields and that obviously will be very significant for the people that make a living off uh, those properties so we are seeing water on the field it's just starting it's only about a mile in right now we have seen no homes that have uh, been negatively impacted I didn't see any uh, but overall uh, we're seeing the water slowly come into the area a little slower than people had originally anticipated